Okay, so we did it previously in a more kind of manual way where we uh, we looked for the signal, decoded it, uh, then sent it out with encoding. But actually we can do this in a much more manual way is where we can pull straight from the device, store what we think is a signal, and then we can just replay it. Um, so doing that, I'm just going to run that. It's uh, what we call a simple replay. So uh, I'm going to set uh, obviously the frequency of this device, and I'm going to set the uh, number of signals that I want to capture. So actually we we'll leave it at three, and I can set the minimum uh, frequency that I uh, the minimum power level that I want to regard capture signals as. And what it's going to do is going to look for a whole bunch of zeros. Um, and make sure that it kind of looks like a signal, then it's going to store it, and then we'll, uh, once it's captured enough, we'll have the option to replay it. So I'm just going to run it like that, um, and I'm going to press the remote, so there you can see it in the waterfall as well, and here you can see it's found uh, three different signals. Okay, so now I've put the remote down, and I'm going to resend it. Okay, so I'm going to send the first one, and you see it clicks open, I'm going to send the second one, clicks open, and the third one, and that will seem to work. And that also gives me the option to change the frequency, so if, for example, that was a closed signal and there was an open signal on another frequency, I can then put that in uh, and resend it. Okay, so then I'm just sending back on the same one, it still works. Um, so that's a nice uh, example of showing just replaying a, a standard non-rolling code uh, to use.